we'll come back during the summer. It'll be an excuse to come back, you know, because I'm going to move to Europe and we're, yeah, yeah. we're all going to get together during the summer and, uh, you know, cook some, uh, some alka or some, something in this. <laughs> yeah, alka. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna get a triple bike, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Kyle and uh, Kat and Pete are here. Yeah, here is the Netherlands, and I'm in Hilversum right now, which isn't too far from Amsterdam. We're gonna head into Amsterdam right now. However, I wanted to show these guys here. They're just visiting, by the way. Um, they're actually based out of London now, which is exciting. But anyways, they're visiting me in the Netherlands and I'm gonna show them the world's best fries. Yeah, these fries are very good. No, it's good man. No, no, these fries are good. These fries are good. Yeah. Uh, I had a good day. Huh? Chicken sauce. No, I don't know what chicken salt is. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. It's the peanut. It's a sweet peanut. Yeah, it's an Indonesian thing, you know? Ah. Oh, yeah, satay flavor. Alright, let's try this peanut thing. Before coming to uh, Europe, I never used to eat fries with anything besides ketchup, but now I've been eating it with peanut sauce. Mm. I feel like you may have overhyped this. <laughs> That's the secret. Real potatoes. That's the secret. Yeah, the peanuts. It was so good that we uh, we ate it so fast that we didn't even film any B-roll or close-up shots of it. But it's okay. Yeah, it's just it's just. I mean, I think the best fries in the world. This right here. And then maybe we'll get some berries afterward. And maybe some coffee too. Buying uh, berries at a. Uh, Flea market, you know, very European thing to do on a weekend uh, on a Saturday here, you know. Did you see it? I don't care. That means that, that means it's organic. <laughs> This is a very Dutch thing. You just take one of these little Dutch cakes and then you put it over like this. And then you have to flip the coffee over on top of it. Like this. Dude, these strawberries are just too perfect, dude. There's like, what? what? Yeah. Why? Public transportation isn't something that I'm good at, something that I've used often, but here in Europe, I'm starting to feel a lot more comfortable using it, especially in the Netherlands, because it's quite simple, quite easy. Everything is very well connected, you just have to kind of remember to swipe in and out. So here it is, guys. Amsterdam, the canal. Ooh. Hey, where'd you get those gloves? When in the Netherlands you have to eat Chinese food, <laughs> says who? Says me. <laughs> Some great, great selections here in the Chinatown area, in the center of Amsterdam. Yeah, that dim sum was actually really cheap and really good, so I actually really recommend that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, people are trying to avoid me because I'm like... <laughs> yeah. Look at all these bicycles! Bicyclists! Number one thing in Amsterdam, yeah? Watch out for bikes. Yeah. 
Number two thing in Amsterdam, watch out for more bikes. <laughs> so that is the Heineken Brewery. Unfortunately, that is a line in. And I heard that this was a great experience. Too bad uh, we'll never get to find out because yeah. uh, we're not gonna stand in line for that long. Yeah, I mean, probably just better to go to the supermarket and buy food cans. The real Heineken experience. <laughs> <laughs> just go to the supermarket. <laughs> well, the good thing is when you are in line, they do give you free food. Well, by the time it gets to the end, there's no free food left. And you see, that's a common problem when it comes to touristy, must-see things. I mean, they're must-see for a reason, right? I'm sure that experience is pretty awesome, but you might have to endure the lines. It's up to you to decide. Sometime later, we took a train to Den Haag. And yes, hello, I'm narrating this one starting now. Hello. When you first approach this city, you can't help but notice the modern architecture, and it's also where the government is based. Right here is where all the laws of the Netherlands are made. All right here. But I really came to meet more Vietnamese Dutch people thriving in this land. That's a reference to my older Dutch Vietnamese video. Please check it out if you don't know what I'm talking about. Meet Serene to my left here, and that's Lin, her husband, to the right. And there's Wing as well. And what better place on a bone-chilling day to visit than a beach, a very special one that I can't pronounce the name of. What's the, what's the bubble thing? Uh, yeah, it's also the from the sea because yeah because of the the, the, the sand. Oh, the sand makes the bubbles. Like yeah. that? that's weird. It's like sea foam. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that before. It's like whipped cream. <laughs> Oh my god, when you come in. Oh, what a relief. Whoa. What a relief. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was the windiest wind I've ever experienced. Misschien is it verlees ik die meter verkeerd af. Kan ik jou misschien vragen om een jerry can met benzine te halen? Oh, want er zit geen benzine in. Ja, als het goed is wel, moet hij vol met benzine zitten, maar. Misschien lees ik die meter verkeerd af, weet je? Dus stuur eens een foto van die meter, ik rij wel vast naar de show. Oké, okay, en dan uh, gewoon, uh, gewoon euro ongeloot, zeg maar. Gewoon uh, ja, normale benzine, geen diesel. Oké, thanks! Yo. Stuk, jou, stuk jouw locatie door. Yo. We have to, we we have to go to the gas station. Is that a gas? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, Ik naar hebben. Want is het, gewoon nog, uh, is het gewoon nog gas dan? Heeft hij gewoon nog gas denk ik ook, die auto? <laughs> Afterwards, we decided to head to a place a little bit more natural to us and visited Little V, one of the best Vietnamese restaurants in the entire country. Immediately when you come in, you'll definitely notice the decorations were taken very seriously by people who know Vietnam, and more importantly, Vietnamese kitchens. And that's something that can be quite difficult to achieve in Europe. Vietnamese Americans from California or Texas, and even to some extent Vietnamese Canadians might find it difficult to appreciate this meal because you guys have Vietnamese food right down the street. Good Vietnamese food, that is. The same cannot be said about many places in Europe, and that's why it's special. To some, it's just another meal, but to me, it's a tale of a Vietnamese American, Vietnamese Australian, and Vietnamese Dutch, second generation eating food that keeps our culture alive together. I'm certain such a thing has never happened in the history of the world before amongst these three countries, but just to sound a little bit less dramatic, it is a big deal to me to connect with other VQ or Vietnamese people abroad throughout this world. And I think you guys know that about me by now. Eventually, Peter and Kat had to return to London, and I'm sure we'll see them again. I really want to live in Europe one day, and it's no secret that I want London to be my base one day. And speaking of seeing again, it's my Dutch family, and we're going to do family stuff in the rain. I think that's the most amazing thing I've seen in the Netherlands so far. A mossy roof. <laughs> it's true, a mossy roof. Wow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and there's a castle, yeah. There's a castle too, yeah. <laughs> this place is so absolutely out of me. <laughs> I mean, I'm from Southern California after all. We don't really have falling leaves and changing colors and stuff like that, so this is a completely unique experience for me and it's beautiful. 
the views are really stunning, but I'm trying to launch the drone up and uh, it's like raining at times and it's not at times. <laughs> I, just want, I just want to get the drone shots. Cue the drone shots right now. I do want to take a moment to thank the Dutch family for making this video and many other videos possible. You see, many of the long documentaries that you've enjoyed in the past few weeks was only possible because the Dutch family let me stay with them. I can't always edit something like this on the road, so they provide not only shelter, but a very nice chair for my back so I can make these videos and to film more content. And some of these documentaries take five days or more to edit. And beyond that, I'm forever grateful for the friendship. By now, it's time to eat. The running means everyone's hungry. And to come to this place, you better be hungry. Yeah, all the house and Heineken beers, inclusive, and the rest is sitting to stuff. This is all inclusive? Mm -hmm. Wow. All you can drink chocolate milk. All you can eat mint. <laughs> Leaves. All you can drink tonic water. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, buffet strategy no rice, no carbs. See, that's filler, all that. Yeah, all that but stuff I like that. Filler. Hell yeah. Right, but just get the muscles, don't get the rice. <laughs> this is one of the best buffets I've ever been to. Definitely the best in Europe. Get this, it's timed. You get two to three to four or more hours depending on you. Therefore, you have to come with a strategy and nobody has a better game plan than me when it comes to buffets to get your money's worth. This is a high quality napkin. <laughs> wow, this is a great place. You can tell by the napkin. Look at this, man. It's gonna last. So I made a mistake, yeah? We got a smoothie. Not, uh, not the smartest decision, because it's so thick. This is gonna take up stomach space. Precious stomach space. There's gotta be a rule. You can't cut things with a knife and fork. You're just taking too long, Noel. Well. <laughs> taking way too long. This is, a buff this is a time buffet. We're on a time crunch here. I had to uh, take my hat off because I think my head expanded. My head expanded from all the food. It got bigger. 2018, the year of change. The year of change. I zoomed in on. I zoom. I zoomed in onto my face so they know I'm serious. Why? Why it's so? Because it zoomed in. Because now, now, now they know I'm serious. When you want to really emphasize something, you zoom in. Like, like, fish? Like that. Fish? Like that. that that's, a, that's a, you know, cinematic way. The Netherlands is one of my favorite countries, simply because of the people. And I can't wait to come back, if they'll have me. Thank you. Is it really that cold? Man, I'm getting used to this weather, man. I'm used to this. I'm so European, man. I'm used to the, I'm used to the cold. You know? I should live here. Man. <laughs>